Alright guys, so I got the holster on and this is in the waistband and as you can see you have the barrel in tucked into the short area, well where your pants would be. Now if you want to wear this on the outside as a out of the waistband, what you would do, unclick yourself, place the holster between your pants and your belt. And now you have a out of the waistband. Let's rage. Yo, what is going on YouTube? All right, so first and foremost, let's do a safety check. Of course, I'm already knowing the firearm is going to be safe, but just for YouTube safety purposes. So I was actually given the honors to be able to do a product review on this holster as you're seeing right in front of you. This is from High Quality Innovations. You can see here, here's the titling. These are a magnetic force holsters. They have a Facebook page, YouTube page, and a um, Instagram page. I'll be leaving all the links and everything in the description. Uh, what we are going to do for this video first is go over a tabletop review. I'll be giving you guys a run through on how the holster looks. Uh, then we'll be going over the specs, which I have pulled up on my phone. And then we'll be going over a pretty much what you will, you'll be seeing me holstering this and uh, how you can use the holster in different ways. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull the firearm out of the holster and we'll just basically take a look at it. Uh, this is epidextrous, so you can use it for left or right handed. Uh, you can see it has your screw clips here, which you can see I am right handed, so I have my clips on this side. They have the carbon fiber within the holster. Inside the holster, basically within, I believe it's going to be within this tip area here is where your magnetics are. And what that allows, actually I think, yeah, what that allows is for your firearm to sit magnetically inside of the holster without falling out. Very awesome uh, creation there, how they design that. These holsters are compatible with most lasers and light accessories. As you can see, they give you the extra gappage, which would be right under your barrel. So for instance, I don't have one at the moment, but if I had a laser or a flashlight, you can see where my barrel goes in here there's extra gappage there for your flashlight or your laser accessory. Now I'll just give you guys a up close visual of the holster. The holster is actually very light compared to most holsters, holsters that I have used throughout time. You guys know I've always carried the SD9VE. I've had this for Whew, many years now, I've done lots of videos using it and my run and gun drills. And uh, a lot of people like to down talk it. It's pretty much a very reliable firearm, uh, in my opinion. I love this firearm. And now the combination of this firearm and this holster, it's beyond quality. Very satisfied. So I'll give you guys the visual up close. You guys can see. It's got a nice material within the inside, so you don't have to worry about getting holster wear on your slide on your firearm. You can see it says innovation and it says what size it is. Made in the U.S. That's a big plus right there. I always love purchasing items from companies who are from the U.S. That's a big key. Very nice stitching. You can see 
the stitching is really nice and as you can tell the company has really placed in a lot of work with creating these holsters everything is just to a T perfect the firearm fits in really nice you don't have to jam it in as you would any other holster like the Black Hawks or any of those other holsters where when you first buy them you have to do the break-in process uh, there's pretty much no break-in process with this they fit very snug you have the magnetics to grab the sidearm which makes it feel very secure so I'm gonna open up my phone we're gonna go over the specs and I'll basically read off stuff from their webpage for you guys so product description uh, magnetic retention Magnet placement slash design prevents the gun from falling out as well as holster from collapsing on itself. Uh, that's another key. So what they're stating is with the magnetics inside, you don't have to worry about the holster shutting down like this on you. Due to the magnetics, it keeps the holster consistently open. Uh, a lot of holsters that you purchase that are within this material instead of the Kyprex or however you state that, um, you'll notice throughout time or even in the beginning the holsters will shut so you, it's it's hard to get your firearm within the inside but with the magnetics opening these holsters like this your firearm goes right in let's jump back into the reading here durable carbon fiber vinyl exterior options for extra mag slash accessory pockets on double digit size so you can go a double digit size which will give you the opportunity to carry an extra mag. Uh, this one does not have that accessibility. So this is just basically the single stage. Apodextrous and cross draw carry compatibilities. Accounts for most laser and light attachments accessories. Attachments cannot extend past the end of the barrel or below the trigger guard. So if you have a laser light or a flashlight that connects to your sidearm, you have to make sure that the laser light does not proceed past the barrel or past the trigger guard downwards or forward. IWB slash OWB, in the waistband or out of the waistband opportunities. So you get both those options with these holsters. <clears throat> High grade spring steel and cry. Crydex clip configuration included completely adjustable height and can't tuckable and can be worn without a belt so you you see the clip here it is adjustable you can move it either way up or down for your adjustments uh, my point of thought when I first opened this out of the package I was pretty much blown away uh, just by the durability the feel of it uh, this is a high-end, really high-end build. <clears throat> I'm really satisfied with it. Uh, they have, I'll go over the sizing charts. They have for Berettas, Bursa, Colt, CZ, Dan Wesson, Diamondbacks, FMK, FN, Glocks, uh, H&K, Hesler, however you say that, High Points, Car. I think I'm saying that right. K A H R, Keltec, Kimber, Remington, Rugers, S C C Y, Six Hours, Smith and Wesson, Springfield Armory, Stoger, Staler, S T E Y R, Taurus, Walter, and I believe that's the end of the list. But throughout that list, they have all the different types of models for those name brands that I named off. As I stated, I'll leave all the information down below in the description. That way you can see if they have a, mo uh, a holster that will fit your model of firearm. And I'm pretty sure that they can customize one to fit if you cannot find it on their webpage. So what we're going to go ahead and do, let's just uh, I'm basically going through their webpage right now to see there's a couple of videos and ways to carry the holster uh, but I'm actually going to demonstrate that myself so 
I'm going to shut you guys off here. We're going to go and uh, I'm going to go ahead and place the holster on me and we'll do a demonstration on how I'm going to be carrying my sidearm with this holster. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so I got the holster on and this is in the waistband and as you can see you have the barrel in tucked into the short area, well where your pants would be. Now if you want to wear this on the outside as a out of the waistband, what you would do, unclip yourself, place the holster between your pants and your belt. And now you have a out of the waistband draw. So, you see? Just like so. And then we'll go back into the waistband. Like so, and you can, my shirt's tight. I'm wearing a really tight shirt, but you can see that. Nice configuration. You can wear it different ways. As to the front, I never wear mine. Usually, I'm about a 4:30. I wear my holster about a 4:30. Or if I'm out of the waistband, I'll wear a hip. So basically, that would be considered your 3 o'clock. 4.30, 3 o'clock is where I normally carry. But for those of you who carry front, you have that option there in the waistband. And with, <clears throat> with changing it up to apodextrous, you can, as I said, change the clips. And then you'll have your other options to carry all around. So... Excuse my fruit of balloons. There's an in the waistband in the back. <clears throat> my belt's real loose, that way I can keep pulling it off and on and changing it around for you guys in this demonstration. Normally my belt would be a lot tighter. <clears throat> so, in the waistband, in the back. It's actually really comfortable, really light. You can feel the clip gives it a lot of support, great support. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall out. Um, it doesn't feel like it's pulling down any. I think I'm gonna use this holster as my out of the waistband holster, just for the fact that I really like how it looks. As you can see. And I really enjoy the, pa the fact that the part of the holster goes between the pants tucked in the belt. It's a very unique way to do a out of the waistband holster, an IWB holster. <clears throat> Usually a out of the waistband holster would be outside of the belt and then you have a lot of bulkiness that just kind of throws out an appearance. This right here feels really comfortable. I really like this. So, there it is. <clears throat> as soon as the weather cools down, we will be getting out there and doing some shooting. Right now it's probably about 118 degrees. So we won't be going out and testing it out. But stay tuned. We will be doing that shortly once the weather cools down. So there you go. Let's go jump back right, on the table. So that's pretty much for the tabletop review. That's pretty much for the holstering review. Um, what I do want to do is we're going to jump on to the laptop and I'm just going to scroll through their website. I'm going to have a little background music in there so you don't have to hear me talk and you could just kind of get a visual of uh, what's going on on their website. We'll jump onto their Instagram, do a couple of screenshots of their Instagram and visuals of that and uh, we'll end it at there so <clears throat> make sure you guys check them out hq innovations high quality innovations and uh, as i stated i will leave all the links in the description much love and respect thank you guys for viewing make sure you hit that thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you check out the company 
and uh, all the awesome quality holsters that they have. Remember, made in the US, let's support that. And stay tuned, as I stated, when it cools down, I will get out there and uh, do some more run and gun videos for you guys, some more shooting videos, but right now it's about 118 degrees out, uh, and it's been even hotter than that here in Arizona, so trying to avoid the heat strokes and enjoy the water. That's where most of my videos are at right now. So, uh, a lot of fishing videos, kayak fishing, kayak and fishing and stuff like that. So, uh, But as soon as it cools down, you guys, I'll be back out hunting. I'll be back out doing some run and gun uh, videos and some shooting trainings and stuff like that. So stay tuned. All right, I'm up and out. Peace, my friends. Thank you.